What's up everybody? We are Diana and Phil. Diana is from the United States and I'm from Germany and we made it to Munich. München! Alright, so as you might know, Berlin has the best kebabs in Germany and I think on average that's absolutely true. We had very good kebab experiences there and the most famous one there is called Mustafa's Gemüse Kebab. And we just found out that they opened a store here in Munich, the same guy who has it over there. And we tried it once before and it was absolutely fantastic. It was hands down one of the three best kebabs I've ever had in my life. We're gonna see if the Munich one is just as good as the Berlin one. So maybe, maybe Munich has the best döner in Germany. Let's find out. We got the döner. They look pretty good. Looks pretty much the same. We're hurrying back to the hotel now because we want to eat in a hotel they don't have any seating We're also like five minutes away so. also pandemic time so yeah. gotta wash our hands and then see how good they are all right so we made it back it was just three minutes very quickly. One misconception if I tell German people about the Gemüse Döner, vegetable kebab, they think it's a vegetarian kebab, but it's not. It's just the regular kebab, but what they do is they add grilled vegetables. And those grilled vegetables are super awesome. So maybe we do a quick flashback to the one we ate in Berlin to see how good they actually were. Three euro ninety and it's a very good size. That's a big bite. Well, everything feels super fresh, like all the vegetables. Oh, the cheese has a very goat cheesy like note and it's good. Okay, yeah, I totally get it now that people are queuing. It's definitely one of the best ones I had. It's a little different because of the grilled vegetables, but it's awesome. Is that eggplant in there? Mm. Oh, that's so good. Oh, wow. That is so good. Wow. Oh, that's delicious. All right, so that was the Berlin experience now for the one from Munich. So first impression, this is definitely the most expensive kebab I've ever bought. The regular one is 5.30 or 5.20 and the Durham, the roll is 6.70 or 6.90. From the weight, they both are not the most heavy weights, but I'm gonna start with the regular kebab here. Oh, wow, it smells good. It smells really good. Whoa. Wow. Wow, so we got the meat inside, we got some sauce, we made it spicy, they have tomatoes, they have... What is this? Is it parsley? Is it mint? It smells like parsley. We got some grated feta cheese on top. They garnish it in the end with a little bit of lemon juice. Very curious. It smells so good. Wow, it smells absolutely fantastic. I wish you could smell this right now. Alright, here we go. I don't know. I don't know how to get in there. That's what he said. Mm. Phil's happy place is literally eating kebabs. Dennis. Ooh, spicy. Mm. Yes? Mm -hmm. Super sharp, bitte. Mm. Wow, you can immediately taste the vegetables. I think that was a slice of potato. That's awesome. Put a potato on the donut. Wow, this is one of the best kebabs I've eaten. It's much spicier than the one we had in Berlin, so I can't completely compare. Also, it's been a while, but it's fantastic. Look at how big those bites are. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna leave you this side so you can experience all of it. Wow, on the bottom the sauces show up. I think there are three different kinds of sauces on it. Some yogurt sauce, I would assume. Some cocktail sauce. And the third one, the spicy one. You can see the purple cabbage Ooh. that's in there. Can I always love that stop stuff. Stop playing with it, I wanna eat it. Mm. Mm, it smells a bit herby. Yeah. Ooh, it smells like herbier than I remember, if that's a word. Yeah, we did notice that it was uh, it's a little more expensive, but I think it's because Munich is a little more expensive overall. Okay, go Ooh. for it. You're not doing the first bite inside that I left you. My mouth isn't that big. Mmm. 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 I love the grilled vegetables. That's my favorite part about the Berlin style kebabs. I think it's a freaking awesome dinner. It tastes a little different. I'm not really sure. It's a little fresher. It's a little herbier. And I feel like the vegetables are slightly different. I think there might have been eggplant in the one we had in Berlin. Okay. But it's really good. Let's try the durum. Ah, spitzy. 
never drink soda, but whenever we get a dinner, I always end up drinking a Fanta or Spezi. All right, we have the Durham. Wow. It's like a burrito. I'm not gonna open it all the way. I'm just gonna open the tip. Is that okay? It smells nice. It's funny because when we ordered, he handed this one directly to me. I think more girls order these than guys. Is that true? Maybe. <laughs> they always give me, whenever we order a different one, they always give me the Durham. All right. Mm. Mm, it's a good first bite. Dude, this is a really good one. I think I like Durham's a little more just because of the ratio. If you have a good one, the ratio is perfect for every bite. I hate when I get a duna and all the sauce is on the bottom or all the meats on the bottom and the vegetables on the top. This just makes it nice and perfect and you have a nice line of everything. Mmm. Mmm. Has very similar flavors. It's super herby. I think the dinner sauce, the, the white sauce, is a little different. I think I like this better. I like the durian better than the, than the dinner. But I want you to try it before I give my final. I don't want to be all biased. Right. I don't want to sway your opinion at all. All right, my turn. All right. All right, my turn. Like I said before, 670 most expensive dinner or durum I've ever eaten. <laughs> it's true. It was like, oh my God, that price is crazy. Mm. I completely agree with what Deanna just said. <laughs> Ooh, there's this little late spice coming it's up. a little there. kick, a little kick in there. Wow, you never looked so German before. You're like, Hold that again. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Oh, maybe the thumbnail, potentially. <laughs> yeah, like they ask you, spicy or very spicy? And I say very spicy. Sehr scharf, bitte. I completely agree with what you said. I think the Durham is slightly better. I think most of the times with any shop, the Durham's are slightly better because of the ratio thing. You always get everything in it, which is nice. Also, I like to tell myself it's a little healthier because you get less bread and bread is not the good part, right? Remember the Berlin video? It was a similar experience. We had the dinner first. I gave that like a nine or a nine and a half. And then we had the Durham and I thought it couldn't be any better. The Durham was a 10. Seriously, one of the best things I've ever eaten. So here, same thing. If the ones in Berlin were nine and a half Döner and a 10 Durham, this is a an eight and a half Döner and a nine Durham. I still think these are some of the best Döners I've ever eaten, but you're right, it's a little different. It tastes definitely more herbal, like a flower garden, like a Döner kisses a flower garden or an herb garden. It gets a lot of green on there and lemon. It's very, very good. So yes, it's absolutely worth going there. Considering the prices, it is very expensive and uh, 670 for Durham, I think that's too much. But if you compare it to everything else, like the other fast food joints, like Subway, McDonald's, but also local foods, I think it's still, considering for what you get, a very good value. Yeah, in Munich especially. In Munich, yeah. This might be the most expensive Döner in Germany. <laughs> And I, I wonder if it is. And I still think it's worth it. We saw that they are getting queues in the afternoon. They're getting big queues at that shop. It's very hyped, so long queues, but I think it's still worth it. So usually behind the cameras, whenever we travel to another city, we don't film it, but we always end up getting a dinner. <laughs> Always. <laughs> because Phil always loves them and we have to at least stop by. I think we've eaten one in at least every city we've gone to, right? Totally. I think it's the best fast food in the world. I think it's also the fast food with the best value. Price Leistung Verhältnis. That was our Döner experience here in Munich. I hope it highest the average quality of the German Döner because it's just absolutely fantastic. Yeah, I think the mixed vegetables are really what makes it. It's mwah. Let us know where your favorite Döner is from. If you have any other suggestions of cities we potentially go to, let us know which ones we have to try. As always, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. Bye. We wanted to give a big thank you to all our Patreons. Thanks to you guys, we are able to do these trips around Germany and experience all this different food. So we really, truly appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for your support. See you next time.